New at six, caught in the web. A South Florida family is pleading with politicians to help their son. Their baby is in dire need of Charlotte's Web, a form of medical marijuana that's supposed to be legal in the state of Florida. CBS 4's David Sutter reports it's the side of the miracle marijuana debate you do, don't often hear about. I've always considered myself a hardworking person. I, I, I've never worked so hard for something in my life just to see my son smile. Gabriel and Dianella Cabrera's son Max turned one a few weeks ago, but you might as well consider him to be a newborn. He hasn't been able to meet any of his milestones. Uh, something as simple as lifting his head. He can't do. He hasn't been able to sit up. Max was born with infantile spasms. It means he has seizures between 30 to 70 times a day. It's a clean slate. Uh, it's basically a mini tornado in his in his brain. It's like hitting the reset button. Any advancements Max has made are wiped clean. Roughly one in a few thousand newborns are diagnosed with it every year. There's no cure out there. Not that the Cabreras haven't tried to find one. It's almost like he's a test dummy, you know, trying all these different really hardcore medications with terrible side effects. Doctors have told the family they are running out of options. In fact, they believe there's just one option left, something called Charlotte's Web. From what they've learned from other families in the same predicament, it works. It's helped tremendously. It's helped them to wean the children, their child off of these really hard anti-seizure medications um, and live uh, a better quality of life. That's what we want for our son, to have a better quality of life. Naturally, you're wondering right now, what are they waiting for? Well, it's not legal here. Charlotte's Web is hemp oil, or as you may know it, medical marijuana. The oil contains virtually none of the components that get you high, and its creators, the Stanley Brothers, claim it has saved a number of lives, including who it's named after. I'm not saying this is going to be the cure-all. I'm just saying it's an option. Florida passed a law last year allowing Charlotte's Web to be produced and sold in the state. It's caught up in regulation, though. The details of who can grow it, how it's farmed, how it's stored, and how it's distributed have slowed the process down. Documents obtained by CBS show it could be the summer of 2016 or even longer before Max would get the oil legally. It's slipping away. Some political uh, mess that's going on, you know, some play, some beknownst to us, he, he's stuck in the crossfire. 23 states have legalized hemp oil. Technically, the Cabreras could take a flight. That's the biggest fear. God forbid we run the chance just to, just to do something to protect our son. And then uh, because of an anonymous tip or something like that, they take him away. Uh, we're not criminals. We're just trying to help him out. They believe the quick fix is for Florida to allow the shipping of oil. There are plenty of companies already offering it online. We just want to save our son, <laughs> you know, we just want to save him. We want the potential to save him. We wanted to ask Senator Eleanor Sobel, co-sponsor of Florida's medical marijuana bill, about that possibility, but she didn't respond to any of our inquiries. We should note the Cabreras believe Charlotte's Web may help save their baby. Doctors are hopeful, too. Opponents argue it's false hope. Either way, Max waits to find out. He was admitted to the hospital last week after taking yet another turn for the worse. David Sutta, CBS 4 News.